Hey everyone, take a look at this absolutely beautiful Shadow Black 2022 Ford Bronco in the top of the line wild track package. This is the four door version. It is a wild track, but it has a whole bunch of upgrades on top of that. Let's check it out together. So, the wild track does come with the very powerful 2.7 liter twin, twin turbo V6 engine, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Um, that is awesome for power for 4x4ing or passing power on the highway or anything else you might want. Then, you do have the set it and forget it LED headlights up front, including auto high beam. You see the high gloss black finish on that grill, the white Bronco stamped out there. There's a camera in the middle as this does have an all around camera system, including one in the front, the back and under both mirrors. You also have front park sensors in this front bumper, letting you know if you're getting too close to something. This is an upgraded bumper for the wild track. It's the steel modular bumper, making it extra tough. And you have all these different points that detach, giving you accessory holders, whether you want winches or lights or anything else, uh, very easy to customize front tow hooks there also has the upgraded steel bash plates underneath to protect the undercarriage uh, wild tracks do come with the sasquatch package giving you these nice wide fender flares these 35 inch tires these high gloss black um, bead locking rims and an upgraded little suspension lift underneath as well uh, you see the wild track badging there it looks awesome i mentioned places to put accessories you can put accessories here all over the place any place that the hex bolts come out you can take off and you see it says accessory ready right up there this also has the modular top um, which is awesome and it does have the upgraded sound deadening inside i'll show you that in a moment the mirrors have an led on the outside for signal lights and they also are a power heated mirror with a blind spot system that lights up when somebody's in your blind spot this does have the upgraded keypad entry system so you can just put your key uh, code in here to get in or out or you can use this uh, key fob right here with unlock lock remote start and alarm you can also just put your hand inside the door handle unlock with the heat of your hands press this button to lock it or you can download the ford pass app and do that anywhere in the world for free uh, thank you for tinted windows off the back look great open this up and you get your first look at this gorgeous wild track two-tone interior uh, it looks amazing these are leather seats nice and easy to wipe down um, you'll see it's got the all-weather mat upgrade and then in the back here you've got your window uh, switches as well as USB and full inverted 400 watt power supply. Now what's really cool about these is the doors fully come off and that's why your window switches are in the middle. I mentioned this modular top has the upgraded sound deadening headliner um, which is really nice keeps it nice and quiet. As we come to the back, another steel bumper in the back here with park sensors and a recovery hook. And this has the upgraded tow package on it as well. A great big 35 inch spare tire mounted on the back with a backup camera. And we can open up this hatch. See these nice LED lights there as well. This has the cargo protector upgrade from factory in the back. And then it has storage for your doors. Uh, this has the upgraded 10 speaker Bang & Olufsen sound system with a subwoofer. You see really cool touches like the little Bronco and the lights here. 12 volt power supply and of course when you take this top off you're still left with a really nice roll cage and you can see more places for accessories to be installed. Now that seat can come down but you do have an ample amount of room in the back in your cargo space area which is really nice. Let's go to the front and check out some of those options. All right, so we're just going to open up the driver's door. I always like to show these stickers for capacities. If you're curious about the capacities on the vehicle. And then on the driver's door, you just have power locks and your door handle. Not much else as the door is removable again. Some strapping there. Uh, you want a nice handle for getting up and in. Nice little blue streak inside there. And then we've got controls for our set it and forget it. Automatic headlights, dimmer switches, and the lights underneath the mirrors. Now, these seats up front are super comfortable. Love that they have the Bronco stenciled in them. They are a power seat. They are also heated. Let's climb up inside. Okay, now that we're in the vehicle, we're just gonna go ahead and hit the push button ignition. Uh, display lights up. Bronco comes up on there, which is really awesome. In here, you got a nice digital display with a digital speedometer and a bunch of other readouts like your gauges. Then on the steering wheel, this is the luxury package. So it does give you the adaptive cruise control to slow down automatically with the vehicle in front of you. Also has a lane departure system, volume controls for our stereo, another nice Bronco emblem here, controls for that display up top, 
phone controls and a few more stereo controls. Now this leather wrap steering wheel is heated. Feels like a warm cup of coffee first thing in the morning. Up on the dash, you'll see another one of those Bang & Olufsen stereo speakers, a center channel speaker. And then this is really cool. You've got a USB power supply and that's because you can mount a GoPro right here and then plug it in if you'd like. Um, nice little storage on the dash there too. Then we've got some buttons up top. What are these? Well, this has some really cool off-road features. It has a front locking differential, a rear locking differential, has trail turn assist. You can turn tightly on a trail. I like to call that donut mode because in a parking lot, you can really spin donuts. Then you have traction control and four-way flashers. Um, in your display here, a great big 12 inch display. It looks awesome. This does have the connected navigation. So this actually connects with Ford for real time traffic and everything else. It's awesome. Then you do have Wi Fi uh, integration and it's got a modem built in. It can connect up to 10 devices. We've got dual temperature controls. Go into our audio system and you have Bluetooth streaming, satellite radio, and one of my favorite, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto wireless. Thanks to the new Sync 4, you can wirelessly stream your phone to this and all your apps and everything come up here. Your podcast, your Spotify, even your navigation from your maps if you want to use that instead. Now, this vehicle also does have some really cool features on the side here. One of them is zone lighting. What zone lighting? We can turn the whole outside of this vehicle into a giant flashlight. Look at that all over the place. We can just light up one or the other. Um, really cool if you're in some dimly lit circumstances. Uh, you also do have those all around cameras. So when I come down here and I hit this button right here, you can see all around for parking or for going down the trail, which is really nice. We can move that to just the front camera and see what's out in front of us, which is awesome. Volume controls for everything here, engine auto off, park sensors, and our dual climate control, my side, my passenger side, those heated seats, heated steering wheel, fan controls. And then we have a wireless charger down here, which is always nice, as well as a couple of uh, hookups for USB and USB-C. This is all really sealed in case you're gonna water anything in here, four by fouring. Our 10 speed automatic transmission shifter with the Bronco here again, if you wanna put it in manual mode, you can just shift up or down through those 10 gears using the plus and minus. Our cup holders, we've got uh, mirror controls for power mirrors and our power windows again in the middle because the doors come off. And then here we've got some controls. So this is the GOAT control, go over any terrain. I'll show you that in a moment, as well as our two high, four high, four automatic for set it and forget it and four low. Or what is this? We press this button here, trail control. So you can actually one pedal drive this down the trail. Really nice, you just have to use the gas and uh, basically it'll slow you down or speed you up with the trail control. Now goat modes are another really cool item. What that is, is when I turn this dial, we go into different driving modes. So we're in normal right now. We can go over to eco, save fuel, sport, really wake up the horsepower, slippery, put us into a different traction control and it puts us into four wheel drive. Uh, then we can go over from there if we want to mud and ruts, sand, Baja. Um, so these are kind of extreme modes. The Baja will put you into something where it really locks everything up um, and it's used for off-road, which is really nice. And of course, you can put it in four low yourself if you'd like. Um, as we come up, you've got an electrochromatic auto dimming mirror, we've got some map lights, and then we have some auxiliary switches here. And then we do have garage door openers up on the visor. So you can actually take just the T-tops off the front portion just by unclipping this and drive around as like a convertible with the back still on. Um, really awesome setup in here. This is the Bronco Wild Track, again, with uh, almost every available upgrade on this one too, which is really nice. Thanks a lot for taking a look at this video, you guys. Do me a huge favor, click subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified every time I make a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks, everyone.